got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and When I watched Neil Armstrong step on the moon, I was amazed that I could sit and watch TV and then walk outside and see the moon. Zero and lift off of the jet. I always dreamed of being an astronaut, but I never thought I'd be an astronaut, actually. The mission for both of my shuttle flights was to contribute to the assembly of the space station. Now that the space shuttle's retired, our job at CASIS is to find innovative ways, creative ways, to maximize the utilization of the space station, which will ultimately benefit mankind. ARC-1, Advancing Research Knowledge-1, is our first mission going aboard the space station. The ARC-1 suite includes physical sciences, biological sciences, and education payloads. One of the experiments that we're really excited about is an investigation into Huntington's disease, which could lead to new treatments for that disease. My lab studies the three-dimensional structure of proteins, and I'm studying a particular protein that's called Huntington. And this protein, when it's mutated, causes Huntington's disease. When a patient has Huntington's disease, it's essentially a death sentence. And often their children will also have Huntington's disease because it's a genetic disorder. Our group and other groups have been trying to crystallize this protein for almost 20 years. We've done maybe 100,000 different conditions of this protein, and nothing has really worked up to this point. There are trillions of these protein molecules that are floating around in solution, and slowly over time, these protein molecules start to come together and start forming what's called a crystal. For our technique to work, every protein needs to look the same in every part of the crystal. There's been some really good evidence that crystals grow bigger and more perfect in microgravity. On the ISS, we really hope to be able to finally get these crystals that are big enough and perfect enough that we can solve the structure of this Huntington protein. Not only is the ISS such an international effort, but this research experiment is as well. It's this consortium of universities, private companies, and the government all coming together to try to make this experiment happen. The International Space Station is complete. Six astronauts and cosmonauts are doing research, are advancing knowledge, and benefiting both human exploration and mankind here on Earth. Join CASIS as we embark on this very important mission to advance research knowledge aboard the International Space Station.